Kevin, the rotations early going that deep. You talked about there was something you were looking to do in the preseason. How did it work? How did you feel it played out for you? And how comfortable with you were you going that deep on your bench so early? Uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of work to do with that. To be honest with you, I just that's the first time we've had eleven guys able to play. So I felt like I spent too much time trying to sub and not enough time trying to figure some things out. So um, I got a lot of work to do with that. Dante, uh, second half, all of his point, all nine of his points in the second half. He was kind of a, in a closer role for you in some games last year. How important was that in a game where you struggled to score in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I trying to move Dante to the three and play Jordan at the same time. Um, I'm doing that because I, I feel there's four or five teams in the Big Ten that I think we're going to have to play a little bit bigger. Um, it's tough to play against smaller teams sometimes when you're bigger. Uh, so, but I think Dante, again, I think he played great. I just got to get him more involved in the offense, and that's a tough lineup for me to do that. Kevin, your impressions of, of the freshman, particularly Deshaun, and look, look like he took a spell there. What I thought the freshman played phenomenal. I thought that was uh, much better than I, than I anticipated. Um, Jamie playing 15 minutes. Uh, obviously, Deshaun playing the minutes he played, even Maddie. Going out there and it's really his first college game. You had three guys, four guys out there playing their first college game. I thought they did fantastic, especially from a defensive standpoint. They were in the right spots. They made the right rotations. Um, they didn't hurt us defensively. Offensively, they're going to have their, their their struggles and they're going to have games when they play really well. But I thought I thought all three of them played really well. Is that it? That's great. I you kind of mentioned the freshman's defensive capabilities early on. Um, I think you, in the first half you recorded you know, four blocks, six steals, and you kept them to 19 points in the first half. Just what were your first impressions, even with players you know, in different combinations, fighting to keep the team or keep, keep them not St. Mary's still a defensive? Yeah, team? I mean, I, again, what I think what I was most impressed with is the fact that going into the game, we knew um, from the box scores, their two exhibitions, they had taken a ton of threes. And even going back to last year, they were a very heavy three-point shooting team. So for your first real scouting report, uh, we didn't scout Virginia. We didn't scout Cincinnati. Um, for them to lock in, uh, chase the right guys off the line. I mean, Dakota Lafue is a really, really good good player. If, you know, for him to go three, to, three for 14 and have a freshman on most of the game just shows that they were locked in. And I think that's what, you know, if they, if they can keep that all year long, and get better on the offensive end, that, that's really good for us. Kevin, uh, Jordan started and was very active on the defensive end, uh, but only took one shot on the offensive end. Is that kind of a role you're comfortable with him playing where you know he's primarily providing that athleticism on the, on the defensive end? No, I w again, like uh, trying to figure out how to get Dante and, and Jordan involved when they're both out there um, is something that, again, we, we've only worked with that lineup this week in practice. So Jordan needs to get more involved in offense. He needs to uh, be a little bit more active on the offensive end. But that's my job to kind of get him more involved. But um, again, for you know, first time him playing for me, I I was really happy at the way he played. Kevin, when you're you're talking about having these defense lineups that you haven't worked with very much, when you have the sort of defensive performance that you had in aggregate, when you are using those different combinations. What do you kind of take away from that? And is there a level of encouragement that comes from being able to be at that level? Yeah, I, um, absolutely. I, again, I think, you know, Cal's only been practicing for a week. Uh, Noah was out for three weeks. Jamie was out for four days. Um, we've, we've had, you know, Braden's, Braden's been out. Maddie's been out. Uh, everyone's been taking their turns. So for them to be as connected as they were. We had some big breakdowns at times, but again, for them to be connected on what we were trying to do, that's what I find encouraging. Kevin, the, the 15 turnovers, you attribute that to? You're a loud typer, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's annoying. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to let you know. If you, if you were at my house, my wife would be on you. Uh, Kevin, the 15 turnovers, you attribute that to? That's much better. Thank you. <laughs> Just the first game, players getting in, you know, the chemistry. No, we, we've struggled with that so far. Um, that's been a, that's our, our two scrimmages. We had, I think, Cincinnati, we had 16 turnovers. Virginia, we had 15 turnovers. Um, again, we're working a lot through Julian. 
So Jew with zero assists. For, like I think Julian's probably one of the best college basketball players out there right now. His free throws will get better. We shot him. He made 22 in a row this morning at 7.30 in the morning. Maybe we got to shoot him a little bit later in the afternoon. Uh, but we have to take better care of the ball. I, I didn't think we were good in transition. I thought we took some bad shots in transition. And we, d we just can't turn over that many times. Coach, you've talked a lot about how you thought Julian's foul troubles last year were largely a result of frustration, just picking up unnecessary fouls. He picked up his fourth tonight with around 12 minutes left. Do you think that was the case tonight? And was there anything you no, said I mean, to him? No, I mean, the first one was a moving screen, which big guys are going to get a moving screen. His second one was an offensive foul, which was kind of, I don't know about that one. And his fourth one was a hook foul, which I, I, I don't know about that one either. Um, his third one was my fault. He shouldn't have been in the game. So he really should have only had two fouls going into the second half and would have made a big difference. I, I love the fact that he didn't get any, he didn't get any, you know, the ones he got in trouble with last year were getting tangled up on a rebound, getting, uh, getting a cheap one there. I thought all four of them, all four of them were earned at least today. And this third one was my fault. He should never been in the game. That's, that's just me being bad. Hey, coach, um, back here. Uh, you must have before how Deshaun's one of the most competitive basketball players you've ever worked with. So were you surprised at all about his ability to kind of create space, especially towards the end of the first half, and create opportunities for himself and his teammates to score? No, I, th I think Deshaun's, again, I think as freshmen get more comfortable in, in the way college basketball is played, I think he, I, again, I, I was really happy with the way he played defensively. Just, again, offensively, it's just going to take him a little time to just get a little bit more comfortable. I think as the first half went on, he kind of slowed down a little bit just because he wore himself out, which is not a bad thing for him, um, and really made some great plays. So, I, again, I think as freshmen play more games, I, I watched, you know, I, I must have watched 15 games yesterday, and it was amazing to see every freshman kind of go through the same thing. They show glimpses of greatness, and then you look out there and you realize that they're a freshman for a reason. So the more he just gets settled in, the more he gets in game shape, I think, this is, I think that's the biggest thing for freshmen is they could play – 32 minutes in high school, and then go play another game in, a, in an AAU game. And then all of a sudden you come out and you play at this level with the crowd, with this. It's, it's just a totally different experience. So it, it usually takes them five or six games to kind of get their sea legs. And I think Deshaun's one of those kids that he's such a smart player, such a competitive player, that it's going to happen to him quicker. Coach, with Deshaun, I know you mentioned it will come with time settling in. What do you think that next step is for him, and what do you, you know, hope to see him do in practices throughout the next few weeks to see him take that step? I don't know. He was plus 22. Um, I think just I think he's going to find his – I think the biggest thing for him is just finding where to be a little bit more aggressive with the basketball. Um, you know, he's out there with J.Y., he's out there with Julian, he's out there with Dante. He's playing with three seniors. So I think the, his next step is just – understanding when is it my turn to go and when is it my time to get relaxed and just hang out. I think that's the biggest thing for him. How did you think he did as a ball handler, uh, comfort level with the ball in his hand today? I, th I thought he did great. Thank you, everybody. Players will be right in. Good Deshaun, uh, could take us through how it felt out there in, in, in your first college game and looked like you kind of hurt your leg a little bit. How, how are you feeling there? I mean, uh, it was great going out there with our team, practicing all summer, like uh, messing with the guys. So going out there and actually get to play it against another team, I mean, it was great. I had my family out there. My whole high school team came, so I had a lot of confidence. Like, it really felt like a or like a hometown hero almost. I had a lot of fans and stuff. All my family was there. I mean, so it was great to go out there, fight, and get the win with my guys. Yeah, it was just a cramp. The manager was making fun of me just now, so I was being a little too dramatic, but yeah, it was just a little cramp. Uh, Julian, obviously, you know, you've been um, in the program for a few years now. You've got a lot of new faces. Just kind of talk about the chemistry uh, with your team right now. You know, I talked about it a lot, um, you know, especially the Italy trip this season. I mean, this summer, um, brought guys together. And um, we learned each other's tendencies a lot and playing against each other in practice just just playing and going hard against each other just just builds that chemistry even more. And in games like this, 
do it even more as well and we can be successful doing it. Julian, you led all players in points and rebounds today. Um, to start your season opener like that, how encouraging is that for the rest of the season? How'd you feel out there? Um, I feel like I still left <clears throat> a lot of points out there and, and I could have got a couple more rebounds, but nonetheless, um, I'm very proud of myself and proud of my team for getting the win. For Deshaun, um, it seemed like you kind of found your groove there at the end of the first half. Uh, what was that like first to see your, your first college points go in and then to kind of build off that? How did that feel? I mean, I was uh, definitely excited. I couldn't like do too much. It was just a little put back layup. So it's going like, to be that, uh, show that much emotion. But after I seen my first layup go through, I like, felt comfortable. Knew it was just basketball at the end. It was just a game. So definitely got like in my zone, like you said. And then I was able to score a few more points before the half ended. So obviously, we, I've been covering you for a long time, ever since you were in middle school. How did tonight kind of stack up to how you thought it would? Your expectations coming into this? I know your decision to come to Maryland was a huge decision, a big DMV guy coming to Maryland. How, 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 how do you feel coming off this game here? I mean, uh, it was definitely great. A uh, huge reason I came was because uh, I, be, I was able to stay home. A lot of um, family and friends and come to the game. So having like 50 people here for me, it was uh, great. Gave me a lot of confidence, like I said. I mean, it was definitely just fun. The atmosphere was great. And then I mean, I'm just trying to be a winner, so definitely getting the win was the best part. Hey, Gigi, you kind of talked about a bit about your team's chemistry, but with some injuries during the preseason, you know, Willard kind of mentioned that this was the first time some of the guys were, were running uh, in the same rotations together and with 10 different guys out there at a lot of different times. Just how did it kind of feel um, getting everyone kind of together and getting situated in different rotations? Yeah, it was definitely different. Um, um, guys coming back off injuries, like Tic Tac injuries, just, just, it's a great thing that we get out of the way early the season. Um, we got another test on Friday with Davidson, and with our team fully back, not gonna wait. You know, um, I feel I feel like we're gonna be good. <clears throat> Deshaun, anything first time you know playing against guys that aren't your teammates like Juju? Anything surprise you or anything that was out of the ordinary for you? Or did it just feel like another game for you? I mean, definitely just seeing like that uh, athleticism and size that every team got. Like at the college level, everybody got six nine guys that can jump out the gym. And I'm used to seeing Jordan every day, but just seeing a uh, other team got three multiple guys that's tall and can jump like that, that was definitely the most surprising part. Deshaun, when you, when you were playing with uh, Jahari there in the first half, you were handling the majority of the ball handling responsibilities. Is that a role you're comfortable in, kind of leading the offense as a freshman? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm uh, comfortable being a primary ball handler. That was a, a big reason I came to Maryland, because Coach Willer uh, believed in me. I can run like a point guard when Jamar is off the court and be a secondary ball handler when he's on the court. So when he's out the game, I'm definitely going to be handling the ball, and I'm comfortable. I feel like I can make a lot of good reads and give my teammates good shots. And for both of you guys, kind of in the second half, Mount St. Mary's, they kind of started to get a, a bit of a rhythm. What do you, what, what do you attribute that to? Uh, I mean, they're a good basketball team. They're not just going to lay down and let us win. So in the uh, second half, they knew we, we knew they was going to go on a little bit of run. I mean, it's basketball is a game of runs. So we just got to uh, take the runs and then come back and fight, uh, punch a little bit harder than they did and came out with the win. Deshaun, uh, yes. In the first half, there was a one-minute span where you were able to get two steals and a block. You showed some energy there. Uh, what, what was that moment like for you? And how do you think it set the table going forward? I mean, a goal uh, coming to Maryland, being part of the team, I was trying to be the uh, player that plays the hardest every single game. So, I mean, that just ener energy plays. It takes no talent to go out there, block shots, uh, get a steal. It's just all, all about how bad you want it. I feel like I was out there just trying to play hard, uh, make plays for my team, and that's what uh, happened. 